Hello everyone, welcome to the SmartPost Show Pro plugin video tutorial. Before exploring the plugin features, let me show you a few examples of the post showcase that can be created using the SmartPost Show Pro plugin. You can create a beautiful post carousel, multi row carousel with Ajax Live filter buttons, post grid, post list, isotope layout, post timeline, zigzag layout, accordion. Large with small layout with the Smart Post Show Pro plugin. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called Smart Post Show. When you click on it, it will take you to the Manage Shows page. Here you will find the list of your created shortcode. If you want to make a copy any of your existing shortcode, then simply click on the duplicate button. Now click Add New to create a new post show and give it a title. And then select a layout preset from carousel, grid, list, isotope, timeline, zigzag, accordion, and large with small. All the layout has their own customization options. Below that you will find a few configuration tabs. Initially you will be in the filter content. Here you can select a post types from post, pages, and multiple post types. Configure sticky post, include only, exclude, limit, and offset value from here. Advanced filtering is the most important feature of the plugin. You can filter your post by taxonomy, author, sort by, custom fields, status, date, and keyword. Let's check the taxonomy filter and you'll find the related properties to be configured at the bottom of the page. You can select a taxonomy from category, post tag, and post format. So let's select category. Now you can choose category terms. So now let's see how the post show display in the live preview. So click show preview and you can see this is how the post carousel display in the live preview. You can use those category terms as Ajax live filter buttons by checking this box. So now if I update the preview, you can see those are the Ajax live filter buttons showing in the post carousel. So this is the taxonomy name. If you want to hide it then go back to the taxonomy settings and here you can see you have the option to hide the taxonomy name. You can configure the Ajax Live filter related properties from here. If you want to use multiple taxonomy filtering then click add new and then configure it as you like. Similarly you can use multiple filter in your post showcase by checking the boxes one by one. And you can configure the related fields from those filter by options. Now let's move on to the display options. Here you will find a few more advanced properties to be configured like you can set a column value and set content orientation from left image, right image, overlay, curve and overlay box. Check the box to make all the items to be the same height as the tallest one. Configure the border, border radius, box shadow, background, inner padding, content fields and preloader from here. You can configure the post thumbnail related properties post title related properties, post meta field related properties, post content related properties, social share and custom field related properties in details. I will explain those features deeply in another video, so stay tuned. Now let's move on to the carousel controls. Here you will find the carousel control related properties like you can select a carousel mode, carousel speed, Autoplay, Autoplay Speed, Pause and Hoover, Infinite Loop, Lazy Load, Carousel Direction, Transition Effect, and Row Velo. You can also configure the navigation and pagination related properties. And below that you will find a few properties to be enabled or disabled. So you can configure it as you like. Next one is Post Detail Page Settings. Here you will find the Post Detail Page related properties. Like you can select a detail page link type from pop-up, single page, and none pop-up type, maximum width, maximum height, content color, background color, overlay color, close button, close button color, and show or hide the pop-up fields. And if you wish, you can drag and drop those as well. Let's see how the post details display in the pop-up. So if I update the preview and click on a post, you can see the post details are displayed in a nice pop-up. Next one is typography. In the typography settings, you can change the font properties like font family, text alignment, font size, line height, font color, hover color, for post title, meta fields, contents, read more, and custom fields. Now let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode ID from here 
and go to a page where you want to display it. You can insert the shortcode in a Gutenberg editor in two ways. First, you can directly put the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block like this. Secondly, you can insert the shortcode from Gutenberg editor like this. Now choose a post shortcode title and you will get a preview of it at the bottom of the shortcode. Now let's publish the page and view it. So you can see this is how the post showcase display in the front end. Now let's get back to the shortcode settings again. And as I said, you will find a few new configuration options for each of the layout presets. So now let's select grid and go to the display options and here you can set the grid style from even or machinery and scroll down at the bottom of the page to get the pagination related properties. So configure it as you like. When you select isotope layout, you will see a new configuration tab added named isotope settings. Here you will find the isotope filter buttons related properties like filter type, button color, margin between buttons, margin between taxonomies, alignment and etc. Now let's go to the plugin settings menu. Here you can see a license activation page appears to the first. This is the license activation field where you need to insert the license key to activate the plugin. Below that in the advanced settings you will find the options to enqueue or dequeue google forms and check the box to clean up data on plugin deletion. Next you will find all the JS and CSS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. So make sure all the options are enqueued properly. Those are the responsive breakpoints. Enable or disable the plugin accessibility. Write down the custom CSS and JS here to modify the plugin default styling. Next one is replace layout. You can easily replace the standard archives and taxonomy archive pages with the plugin layouts. Let's see how the default post page looks like in this website. So as you can see, this is the default post page. So let's change it with the plugins layout. So enable post page default blog and select layout from here. So if I select accordion and save the changes and reload the page, you will see the post default page has been changed with the accordion layout. So this is how the other archive pages can be replaced with the plugin defaults layout. Finally, let's move on to the tools menu. Using the tools menu, you can export and import all the shows you have created using the plugin. So that's all about the Smart Post Show Pro plugin today. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how you can use all those features to make your post show even more attractive and meaningful. Until then, take care.